all right, seriously, are they trying anymore? I mean, we're doing all these adaptations and it's like they're trying their best to get, <laughs> just not be as accurate as humanly possible. And I'm not really sure why. What's the point of an adaptation if you're not going to adapt it? Hey, what's up, nerd fam? It's your boy, Gashan. I want to welcome you to Enter the Nerd. Your boy is confused right now. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with all these adaptations right now because it looks like they're trying their best to almost be as inaccurate as humanly possible. And when people who are fans of the source of what they're adapting complain about it, then they berate the fans, which is kind of strange to me because you do want them to watch this stuff, right? Like, I'm thinking, let me know if I'm wrong here. Aren't adaptations supposed to, you know, adapt source material you know like especially if it's like you know, animated or you know maybe drawn comic whatever you bring it to life so those guys who read it can go oh wow they did this i can't you know the wow factor you know showing that you cared about the the material right i'm thinking that's what it's supposed to be but obviously i'm wrong you're wrong everyone who's expecting different is wrong now what things have been happening recently that kind of ring this bell right number one we have cowboy bebop right which Let's just go into the character, the stills they show. They have Spike Spiegel, right? Costume looks great. Hair looks great. Obviously, we could say, you know, was he Asian or not? Whatever. I mean, his name was Spike Spiegel. It's not really, you know. And I guess people could say, well, maybe, you know, he was adopted. They're doing this, all this stuff like that. Whatever. At least they care about the costume. We can, the other stuff is the usual, the bending or whatever. It's, it is what it is. But it looks like they at least care about how he looked. And perhaps he'll even, hopefully he even fights like, like Spike as well too, um, John Cho is not really known to be a martial artist, but he looks like he's in really good shape. So possibly they got that down. Move on. Jet Black, who for some reason, people have always been like, Jet Black, he must be black. Even though there are actual black people in Cowboy Bebop and Jet Black's character has never looked like them. Right? It's clear. He does not look like Mustafa Shakura. That's his name, I think. Right? Whatever. I, I hope I got that. I got that right. But still, his outfit still looks like Jet Black at least. Right? So they... Pay some attention to that, even though they did the bending again. Now, at Faye Valentine, this is the one that's most contentious because they tried their best to move her as far away from what the outfit of the character is. And they're like, oh, maybe it's too skimpy or whatnot. And hey, to American sensibilities, possibly, right? That's what's happening here. However, there's a halfway point that can be met here. And you could still hearken back to this character. I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be super short shorts. It could be maybe just short pants or whatever. Just get the color scheme and stuff like that right. And not have this weird conservative thing and try to make it seem like the people who are asking for this are just horn dogs who want to see somebody scantily clad. Because it doesn't have to be exactly like it, but it has to at least be recognizable. And then the actress goes and berates all the fans for asking for this stuff. It's like, oh, well, you know, if I have all this, you know, pretty much it'll be too small for me to wear and, and doing stunts, it won't be good. Meanwhile, you have like professional women wrestlers who I believe either the quartering or somebody brought up uh, that's a really good point that you know you have like female wrestlers who are out there wearing these same small outfits and are doing crazy stunts um and they're definitely badass doing their thing and they're definitely doing a lot more than she is so that's not really an excuse it's not and she talks about how you know physically you know she has all these curves and maybe she doesn't fit the the body type that Faye Valentine is. If that's the case, then maybe you shouldn't be playing the role because there's a whole bunch of cosplayers who seem to do this very well. So maybe if you don't fit the characteristics of the character, maybe you shouldn't be playing the character. And that's something that maybe a director should think about going forward, but it doesn't really matter because it's not about having the actor fit the role anymore. It's about how do we get the role to fit the actor? Strange, right? Like it seems backwards, but it is what it is. Next, something that I saw, with Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. It's a new Netflix, I believe it's a series or a movie, I'm not really, not really sure. But uh, I saw the first two stills and I saw this lady. I'm like, oh, this looks like, must be Claire because of the jacket. I'm like, I don't know who this guy is next to. It looks like some, I'm not gonna act like I am a huge Resident Evil uh, fan where I'm like uh, playing every single game. I did play the original games, the first three actually. So I know um, the main characters like Chris Redfield and Leon Kennedy. And when I found out this guy was Leon Kennedy, I'm like, and what planet? Look anything like him. What was the point? What was the point in that decision to get someone like who doesn't even look like the guy? What was the point? 
I don't know. But it's a long list of these things where it doesn't make any sense. And it's funny, Albert Wesker, he's white here, right? Which is supposed to be, right? Because the, the character is. But then don't we have another Netflix show coming up when he's clearly not that? So how are they going to reconcile that point? Are these two series connected? Is it two different teams making it? How are they going to explain that? They probably won't even explain it. It's just going to be confusing for people who are watching it who don't even know what's going on. And they say, oh, yeah, this is going to be this has nothing to do with the previous movies. This has to do with more of the game. We are being very game accurate. Doesn't look like it to me. Like Chris Redfield actually looks all right. I saw that. I'm like, that's Robbie Amell, I believe. Like, looks really good. And Jill is what it is. But Leon? Really? I know Leon to have the blonde hair. Like, we know he, he's got a pretty, a pretty well-known look. This don't look like him. And I believe there's like a character, like one of my boys was telling me, the character that he looks a lot like in some of the later Resident Evils. So why wouldn't they just do a story and make him that guy? Maybe they can even, you know, take a, take some liberties, but at least bring that character maybe earlier than he was supposed to be in, but it'll at least be a character that is part of the lore. There's nothing wrong with that. But I digress. Weird decisions. Adapting. My boy, uh, he made a funny comment. He was like, uh, you know, when they say adaptation, it's not for them to adapt the source material. It's for us to adapt to the changes that they make. And that's so true. We're supposed to just adapt to whatever they give us, which is just dumb. Um, now, the next thing is, I've been hearing a lot of weird rumors about there being a Black Canary movie, which wouldn't be a bad thing, except we're talking about the Black Canary that was in the Birds of Prey movie. Mind you, that movie was super trash because it portrayed all those characters terribly. It's supposed to be all powerful woman characters, but all of them were neutered, and all those characters are badass in the comics, right? So I have no problem with there be so before someone says anything like this, no problem with there being a female lead and a whole group of just uh main characters that are all women but they really destroyed them especially cassandra kane and even the aforementioned black canary um first off they went with the whole race swapping thing which is lazy because there's already an original black character in the birds of prey in vixen who is attached to african lore has her own story she's awesome her own power set is good but instead of that they said oh we're gonna race swap now some people might go oh well you know that's the best person for the job it's not because on the short list for that was also janelle monet and another actress of, i can't really pronounce her pronounce her name but the whole point is they were doing this on purpose they, they had it in their mind to to race swap this character which made no sense because it was already an original black character that has not been put on screen black canary has already been in an old birds of prey um show back like almost 20 years ago and is in the CW. So this would have been a really good time to have Vixen have a big screen debut. But instead, no, we got this. The origin, her origin was wrong. They had her like hating the police because something that happened with her mom. But that's really not what was going on because her mom, her dad was actually part of the, the police in the, in the comic. She also joined the Justice League. And she actually, she's one of the original founding members and she actually, helps give them their name because of her, because of her mom. She's obviously intrinsically attached to Green Arrow and stuff like that. And she's one of the, the first, one of the, the really good martial artists in DC. Like, I know she fought Rachel Ghoul once. Like, she's really good. And obviously she was trained by Wildcat at some point, which the directors actually made sure to, to take that out because they didn't want her to be trained by a man. They actually said stuff like that. I'm like, what the hell? Like, anyone could be trained by anyone. But she's badass. Like, she even had like, this run where it was her and Lady Shiva and it was Black Canary and Jay Canary. And Lady Shiva is actually Cassandra Kane's mother. But all that stuff is out of there. To, uh, so, why is she getting her own show? What are we adapting? Because we're not adapting source material. We're adapting something that wasn't even really well acclaimed anyway. But people just want this weird stuff because they're like, oh, well, we need this character. No, we don't. Let's just go get some one of the original ones here. But who knows, why are we making these choices? I don't know. And then if people like myself, who have read the comments or read whatever source or like whatever it is, complain about it, they go, well, it doesn't matter, it's a different universe. It's like, stop. You know why they're adapting this because they, they are trying to get the people who are the fans to watch this, but then you shit on all those fans when they complain about how inaccurate it is. What, what's the point in that? Because the general audience doesn't know anyway. And I find it hilarious because even though I'm naming those three things, because those are the things that I just saw recently, like Spider-Man, you know, he's a new movie coming out. That's another big, a big character who the adaptations have always, you know, peaks and valleys when it comes to that one. And recently this adaptation of him is just terrible because if you know the character, you know, this is not how 
he is. But then you always have people who have not read the comics or barely read a comic or read Wikipedia's and go like, yo, this is how the character is supposed to be. And you're like, how? You don't know the character. You've never read it. And they're comparing this. It's bad. It's bad. So I don't even know who these adaptations are for. Who are they for? They're not for the people who love the characters. So why are we doing these live adaptations? Why are we doing them? If we don't expect, we don't respect the source material that they're getting adapted from. Stay guys movie. What was the point in that? There's a lot of weird decisions in there that just didn't make any sense. It wasn't good. It wasn't like, oh, we're just doing it because it's different. It, it wasn't very good. But whatever. You let me know. Do you like, I, I mind you, I'm not going to be a stickler. I'm not saying every adaptation has to be 100% accurate to the source material. No, you can make changes. Add some brand new things if you have to. But if you're just going to change something and then like transpose it from like another character, which could have just been added in there, that's bad. Like if the source material had a better alternative, go with that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that in terms of adaptations. Why are we making these weird casting choices of people who don't even look like the character? Why are we doing that? Help me out here. Maybe someone could help me. Let me know, is it? Let me know whichever one I missed. Let me know if you agree with this stuff. Let me know if you disagree. Let's have a conversation below. All right? And to the nerd.